Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. So federal authorities say that there's possible plot for an attack on the Capitol today by a right-wing militia group. Now, why might you ask? Because it's March 4th, and March 4th is usually the day we inaugurate our president. So some Trump supporters, Ricky, still believe that Trump will return to power today. Mm -mm -mm. Now, in a party line vote, Democrats in the House passed legislation that would dramatically change voting rights. Some of these changes include requiring states to automatically register eligible voters, offer same-day voting registration, limit states' ability to purge votes from their roles, and to restore voting rights for former felons. The bill is expected to have a very hard time passing in the Senate, but it's going to try to do what it does. Also, Senate Democrats are working to finalize their version of this COVID relief bill passed by the House last week. So this go-round, fewer people will get the $1,400 stimulus check. So families that are earning more than $160,000 collectively or individuals that earn $80,000 or more will not be eligible for the stimulus check. And last but certainly not least, President Biden announced a new executive order that moves all teachers and child care workers to the front of the COVID vaccine line. Biden says that he wants teachers to get vaccinated by the end of March. All right, that was a quick look at your front page news. For more, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Rock T, what's going on in sports? Well, the judge says that there may be a probable cause of the reckless driving could be the cause of Tiger Woods' crash uh, the other day. Search warrant to seize the black box in Tiger's vehicle. I didn't even know there was black boxes in these vehicles or whatever, man. But they seized the black box, and uh, the investigation will continue. So we'll keep you posted on that right there. In the meantime, former NFL star Kellen Winslow Jr. was sentenced 14 years in prison. Sexual misconduct, including six rape. I'm sorry, rape allegations. Not six, but including rape allegations. So he got 14 years. He's got to put in right there. Utah Jazz star Donovan Mitchell expresses his frustrations on bad officiating. He says, listen, man, the referees are ridiculous, and they screwed them out of a win yesterday versus Philly, and I'm the first one to say, don't blame the referees for the outcome of the game. But at the same time, there's some serious truth to what Donovan is saying in all sports, not just basketball. Many of these referees, they, they've made the game soft with these new rules, calling too many ticky-tack fouls, and, you know, the game should be decided by the players on the court, on the field, not the referees. Good referees, in my opinion, are the ones you don't even see and hear until, unless it's something automatic. It's got to be, it's got to be a for sure foul. The but, ones with the black hair that's come to the back be calling everything. <laughs> come on, man. It ain't about the one, you. It's referees. always the one who hair like Fonzie on, on Happy Days. Yeah, man. They Pat call Riley everything. <laughs> but them, them women, them lady referees, they let them play. Oh, yes, sir. They Espe- try to especially them, yeah, them, they do. I'm talking about they let them play. You know, they are call if it's a, a, you know, a, a foul or something. But them damn, man, it's some referees, man. I, when I see them out there. Or oh, whatever, I, I won't even watch it because I already know that that most of the game is going to be spent at the free throw line, and then all right. the good take players going to file game, out. Man. Yeah, yeah. Take the fun out of the game. I'm, I'm gonna go live on my Instagram at Rock T Holly. Y'all check check on. Let's talk. Up and down, the down. Get on my nerve, man. Gone. <laughs>